All right, so I'm going to VI the Etsy password file and take a look at Root's shell. As you can see, it's set to bin ksh. I'm going to go ahead and set it to sbin ksh, which doesn't actually exist. Uh, if we run a head command on the password file, you can see the mistake that we've made. And let's see what happens when we log out. I'm going to try and log in as root with the correct password. And as you can see, it says no shell. I can't. I'm now officially logged out and locked out of this server. The only option at this point is to send a break via the console server, get us down to the OK prompt, and then boot from the network into single user mode. And the server's going to reset. The memory is going to initialize. And it's going to boot up from the jumpstart server into single user mode. And this is something that you can practice on your uh, free Sun workstation that I give you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set some, uh, some variables. I'm here in single user mode. I'm going to go ahead and just run a corn shell, get my editing in place. Set my terminal emulation to VT100. And let's take a look at the disks that we have in the server. I know that this first one is my boot disk, C0, T0, D0. So the first thing you're going to do, because we had to uh, shut the server down hard, is uh, FSCK this root partition. Make sure we take care of any corruption that may have taken place. So I'm going to run FSCK on the raw disk device. And we get confirmation that hey, this partition was recently mounted or last mounted on root. So we know we've got the right disk, we've got the right slice. And once we finish file system checking this root device, we're going to mount up the slice on a directory slash a, which is built into the uh, into the boot environment. So we're going to mount dev dsk because you mount the block device up on slash a. As you can see, slash a now has our root slice. Important part here, cd to slash a slash etsy, not slash etsy. It's got to be slash a slash etsy. Okay, now if you vi the shadow file, let's say you forgot the root password, you could simply vi the shadow, and then you could take out that encrypted string there in the middle and blank out the password. But our problem is the shell. So let's VI the password file. Let's move over. Let's fix our mistake. That is now a properly uh, defined shell. Bin KSH does exist. Let's umount slash A. And now we're going to take the server down hard with a reboot command. server resets, memory initializes, we're allowing it to boot from the default device, which is the, the main disk. Okay, 
And once it comes back to the prompt, uh, we'll log in as root and we'll be good to go. And uh, keep in mind that typing tada is optional.